Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. What we run into every once in a while is we have a question, how accurate is our tools here? Now, I've got a newer Snap-on digital torque wrench, 3 8 It doesn't really go high enough for some of the stuff that we do. I really need to get the half inch, but I can't afford it. I couldn't afford this one, but it was on sale. My guy gave me a really good deal. Now, what I really want is, I, I've got one here that it's gonna be higher than the torque that this wrench can go. We've got our old click style half inch drive that we use nine times out of 10 to torque wheels. It has been five, six years since it's been recalibrated. It's been handled a lot since then. So I wanna know while I'm torquing something that's pretty critical inside this engine, how accurate is it? Well, what I'm gonna do is I've got an adapter here. This is for distributor wrenches that we hardly use anymore. Well, it's three eighths on both sides. And then I got my adapter to go half inch. And I'm gonna check just how close the calibration is on our click style torque wrench. I've got this set to 90 pounds. I've got our click style torque wrench set to 90 pounds. And I'm just gonna torque them against each other. Now this one's got an audible tone to tell me when I get there. Click. 89 foot pounds. And this clicked at 90, so we're really close. It's not something that we gotta be worried about. That's a real quick, easy way to test some of your stuff in the field is you're testing it against each other. Kind of hard to check two click style wrenches against each other. It can be done, but it's not very accurate. This is really close. I got to torque something now to 110 foot pounds. My digital only goes up to 100. And I found out the hard way that it won't go past that. It, it was, I waited a long time to buy that because I wanted, if I was going to spend money I wanted to get as much as I could for the money. That was a good deal. Now they go higher. Oh well, it covers 90% of what I do anyway. And we do have click style wrenches, this half inch here for the heavier stuff. And then my boss has an inch pound wrench that will go for the lower stuff. So the meat of everything I do is covered by this 3 8 Anyway, I wanted to jump on here real quick and show you that that's a little test we do in the field to verify that we've got moderately accurate equipment to work with without having to send it in and get it verified or wait to, for the guy to come around to do that. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. Talk to you later.